cool, right, aren't they? Hey, a steep, a steep, uh, that was. a steep climb that way. As you might be able to tell, today is uh, the busiest of days we've had so far in terms of uh, traffic. But that's no problem, we're going to be out in the countryside soon for the majority of this 160k ride south. I've uh, been very conscious about my Wahoo battery surviving these days with the heat. So I'm not actually running any maps at all. But that's not a bad thing because they've signposted this route very well. These little yellow signs are everywhere. I don't know if you can tell how windy it is. The trees are like sideways. Oh, come on, climb. Ah, oh, the kilometers are, are flying by today. We're at uh, 650 meters above sea level right now. We've just topped out on uh, the first climb segment of the day. The road surface could only be described as like what you'd expect from the UK, but the road surface on this descent off the top is phenomenal. It's so, so smooth. But to be honest with you, like the road surface has just been great every day. Like, that was rare, that road we just did. I didn't get any footage on it, but it was proper, proper bumpy. So is this Portugal's biggest river? There's a bridge over there. Wow. Look at that bridge. in and out of villages today, that's what it seems like. I'm not complaining. This place is incredible. Little quirky, quaint places. It's, uh, I realize I haven't spoken too much today. I've um, kind of been enjoying the scenery or the change of scenery. As I'm heading further south now, it's blindly obvious that it's getting more and more humid. Um, it's getting very sticky. Um, you know, my lips are starting to, you know, do that funny thing when you start to like sweat a lot and constantly need hydrating. Like, the wind is warm. It's no longer this like cool breeze we've been having. And because we've been basically in a cross tailwind all day, uh, 20 kilometers an hour and 40 kilometers an hour gusts, it's been like really sticky. You're not having it in your face and and cooling you a little bit. It's been on our backs and almost making it a little bit, a little bit like we're not moving through the air at all. I think one of the best things about this trip, simply that we're seeing places that we wouldn't see generally. Like there's probably no way that I would come 
in this direction if I was ever on my own by bike or like do you know what I mean like and uh, that local knowledge goes a long way and you know, that's why you come on trips like this I think to experience something that you wouldn't experience you know off your own back so that was a pretty long segment we just finished uh, it was almost 10 kilometers but it was quite undulating it was a section of four kilometers or six percent but then uh, it went downhill and then it went up like a, another drag for seven kilometers the idea is now the Alp Cycles team regroups here in this little village which is uh, just after where the segment has ended and uh, we'll ride the last 35 40k as a group Some almond cake. Mm. Yeah. Oh, another stage. Bites of dust. It's quite dusty today, actually. We're staying on this uh, this massive um, like state that uh, has like a lot of. Um, Horses. Ah, cheers. Tomorrow and the next. So I hope you enjoy the wines um, from Saturday to Saturday.